Hello class, Aldo here once again. And here we're going to go explore the last remaining light, the volume light. So I hit my previous lights. I'm using the, my previous settings, the software settings with ray tracing. So let's go into the volume option box. And right here, intensity, not many options in here. We could still cast shadows. So let's go ahead and uh, I will leave this off right now. I'm going to go and tell it to create. I'm going to press 7 on my keyboard. Now with this light, this light is really interesting because this is now a volume light. And here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to scale it up just yet. I'm just going to move it uh, over. Even though it looks like my scene is well lit. Here, I'm just going to go up close right here. Let me go ahead and now uh, render this. Notice that only the area where my light is intersecting with uh, with the shapes, that area is getting light. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and scale it up so that it makes a, a larger shape. And here I'm going to go so that both of these sh shapes are lit. And you can see that it's a volume. Wherever it, whatever object is within the, this shape, it's going to have access to that light. So I'm going to go ahead and really scale this up. Let's go ahead and move it off to the side right here. And let's go ahead and render this and see what we got. So it's only the area within that shape. So it's a really interesting shape. Uh, you are able to change the light shape right here from a box, sphere, cylinder, or to a cone. So say, for example, let's go ahead and select uh, a box. So now we have something that looks like this. Sure, let's go ahead and render this out. Let's see what this looks like. I'm going to move this down a bit. So it's right here. And render my scene. So for this one, this light, uh, the light is bound to the volume that we've created here. So let's go scroll down. Uh, let's see, under shadows. Let me go ahead and, uh, okay, ray trace shadows are already turned on, great. So there's always some settings that we, that we have here that we could always work with, with our ray trace shadows. But this is a, a cool way of being able to work with shadows. And right now I have all these different lights that I've created. I wouldn't recommend that you just turn them all on, but you might be able to work with the different series of lights to create different types of examples. Uh, right now we just created lights in a future class session. I will show you how you can also uh, associate different objects with only specific lights, uh, which is really cool. Uh, that is called light, light linking. But right now, whenever you create a light, all the objects within the, within the scene are going to be affected by that light. That is a default functionality. Uh, but there's lots of cool things that you can do with lights. Uh, what we're going to continue to explore in a future video is we just created the lights, but I want to now look at the different qualities that the lights offer us in regards to our shaders. So we will be doing that in the next series of videos. Uh, we will continue to use this scene, but we will use a, a specific lights for our scene. All right, so I look forward to meeting you in that next video. Bye.